Hi there. Today we have a guest who made the most unexpected decision of his life. He dropped his journalism career for bodybuilding. We are yet to find out whether this was the right thing for him to do, especially in a country where sports is undermined in favor for formal education. This is Up Close with Eva Nakato. Thanks for joining in. Hello, Mr. Kato Hussein. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Um, so, straight to the point. Mm -hmm. How does one drop a journalism career for bodybuilding? What was your inspiration? Yeah, uh, being a sport, and I used to do it before, uh, so I picked interest uh, from one of those prominent bodybuilders in the USA and Netherlands um, and I was like why don't I give it my all and I go into bodybuilding I decided to to do my passion because to follow your passion honestly, that was my passion yeah and I had to drop a uh, journalism and I, I crossed into bodybuilding when when did you transition uh, the transition has been coming slowly Mm. Uh, even uh, when I was in journalism, I was doing bodybuilding. But you know, I, as I told you, it was the passion. Then, eventually, I was like, no, let me let me go into bodybuilding fully. Mm. That was uh, one and a half year. Back. One and a half years back. Yeah. And um, did your siblings? How did your siblings and friends take this um, decision? Yeah, bodybuilding. Uh, it's not, it's not a favorite sport, you know. It's not a usual sport in Uganda and Africa in general, I think. So when you do it, people think of all you will be. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's not um, popular. Yeah, it's not popular. So uh, my siblings, most of them don't, don't have any problem with it. But my parents uh, didn't receive it well. Uh, as for those aunties, you know, mm. how can someone undress and, <laughs> you know, how can someone undress before people and... So, but as I told you, uh, it's hard to deny me my passion. Mm. That was my passion. I tried to explain to them uh, bodybuilding because I... How can you undress yourself? I told, I told them, if you ever swim, right? You swim in clothes. I told you swimming is a, is a sport. Mm. This is a sport as swimming. Of course, uh, when I crossed, I expected all those backlashes uh, uh, in siblings, friends, parents. But I was ready for them because that is my passion. And, and right now, are they, have they accepted your decision? Some of them, uh, yeah, some of them have accepted. And are still talking about it. You can't do that as if there are no other. I told them, I told them that's my passion and that's where my, that is my career, that's where my career lies. Mm. How can you leave journalism? How can you leave your, your, your educated man? I told them, yeah, but that is my passion after all. So that's what I want. Mm. Uh, what was your experience when you had just joined bodybuilding? I joined. When I wanted to do some to do competitions, you know, so it's a different experience. Uh, it's, it wasn't easy. First of all, you, are, you don't have to be shy when you, you are a bodybuilder because you have to gun, you know, uh, display the body, the muscles, mm. body definition to everyone. That's that's that, that's bodybuilding. That's bodybuilding competitions. So it wasn't easier. But as I told you, since it was my passion. I was like, that is so easy. That that is so easy to do. So uh, maybe uh, pre preparation part bit of it was a bit harder because when you're going into competitions like that, you have to drop some meals you want mm. uh, so that you yeah you cut some fat percentage. You know the body to be able to the muscles to be able to come out very well. You have to drop some meals. But you were already doing it while you were. Uh, I was already doing it. Doing journalism. But yeah, but you know, when you're off season, like right, right now, 
I do I eat everything right now. Mm -hmm. That's why I've put on some weight. But when you're going into competitions, uh, we call it on season. You have to do what we call dieting. You have to diet. You have to drop some meals so that uh, the fat percentage uh, go low. So that some because every muscle they need to, we, we, compet competitions, you know, judges need to see every bit of muscles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to drop some meals you want, and you a lot. You do a lot of vegetables. Uh, in a balanced diet. Yeah. Exactly. So it's it was hard. It's hard, but uh, I I got used since you know I wanted something good out of it. So I had to cope up. Would you also yeah. advise your uh, your child, mm. your son or daughter, mm. or even the siblings? Mm. Would you advise them to join bodybuilding? Yes, why not? If someone wants it, you don't know where uh, someone's future lies. For example, she's a footballer, but the same thing people used to talk, how can a girl play football, mm. blah, 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 you know. She's a tomboy. I told them, wait a minute. You don't know why she's doing it. That's what she wants. Right now, she's on national team. She plays on national team. She's, she's earning from it. So I cannot deny my son or my friend to join bodybuilding for as long as that's their passion. Mm. You know? Yes, I would advise my friend or my kid to join bodybuilding. All right. So yeah. um, you took part in the Mr. Kampala Bodybuilding Contest? Yes, yes, yeah. I think it was this year, right? Yeah, yes. first May. So how was that experience? Wow. I was a bit nervous, of course, because it was the first time. But I prepared well, and I got confidence. I was like, So I have to go and, 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 and show what I have worked for since. When I dropped the other curry and I joined bodybuilding, I was like, I've been doing this. I've been putting in a lot of effort. I've been putting in a lot of money. I've been putting in time. So let me go and show. Let me go and show what I, show what, what you can do. What I can do. <laughs> so yeah, I, I participated. Uh, it, was, it wasn't bad for starters. Mm. Uh, much as I expect to. To, to, to you know performing performing because yeah. come come November Mr Mr Uganda is coming mm. so we have to go and participate uh, there are other competitions actually in Mombasa as well Mr Kenya what are those challenges that you faced ever since you joined uh, the bodybuilding uh, industry a lot of them first of all uh, you know it's a new career you have decided to, to fully go into that the, the career so Send it as a oh, yeah. you know, because you have to look for people to train. Because uh, bodybuilding, I'm doing bodybuilding, but as well, I have, as I told you, have some students, some I'm training. training. So, send it as a So, you have to be a bit, uh, you know, have to look for those clients. You have to, or you know, back on this thing, why should they join yeah. actually? You have to explain all the, the, the benefits of what you're building to those people so that they can come. So that's the first challenge. It's hard. It's hard. Some, somehow, centers in Tawanyam or watch together. So, of course, uh, backlashes from the, you know, from the family. Bo, get up, you know. A lot of challenges are there. Uh, even uh, training. Sometimes, we are not in a man the training. Uh, mm. Uh, when I'm in the gym, I'm in the gym, but you, hey, this you're is You're forced to yeah. wake up and... Yeah, so you're forced to, work up, to wake up and go and work out. By bodybuilding, by bodybuilders, but to all of them, even no water, blah, 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 blah. Only in the middle of the you are even a bachelor holder, or you just say, no, but over here, you have to be in the middle of the of course, you would. I don't. Uh, you, you don't allow them to, you know, to go into your head. But it becomes a challenge as well. We have to fight a lot to change that myth about what they're building. Have you ever like thought of quitting after all that, and especially uh, that you did not win in the Mr. Kampala contest? Well, uh, uh, never, because for a novice, 
it's hard to win those competitions if you're, not, if you're just a starter. Mm -hmm. Remember, there are other guys who have been doing the same for over 10 years, going on that stage. First of all, the judges are used to them. Secondly, they know what it takes to prepare that body because, as I told you, uh, when you're going to competitions, you have to prep, do what we call, we call it prep. You have to leave all those favorite meals, mm. you know, and go into a meal. Nzibunyo, sagala. Nzibunyo. So, again, the first competition is no one that is actually, if a new world follow wins a worldwide, the Chibanga or Rikinam competition is so can I want Chizibunyo, Banga, the Ongama, you watch it takes everything. Because we call it conditioning. Chizibu. Or conditioning of the world, first time. Something chigana, either no conditioning and you're not prepping and you're prepping and you're muscles zebra, as a rabbit or whatever. And if you don't prep well, or see as a massafu, so muscles the ziva or the muscles don't come out very well. So for starters, I wasn't disappointed not to win. So, Sichiro was an approach of quitting. This is just the start. The beginning. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm looking to other competitions as well. So, in the short time yeah. that you've joined um, bodybuilding, what are those achievements? What I can tell you, that's an achievement for me because friend is networking. Mm. The board of my dream, I've mm. worked out, out the board of my dream. Nari ne gumba mubiri we gutio, ne kati, ukose ne gula bantu ni na no. Na wadu wa 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 but in Dava and Dava, because after prepping, after working out, putting, putting in a lot of uh, effort, Napolo will learn about yes, this I have achieved the, the body I wanted to. Echidala, uh, I've managed to do some, I've achieved, I, I, got, I, I got some certificate, uh, fitness training level one. I, I achieved that since I joined because. As I told you, I'm, I'm taking it as my career. I have to train people. So I'm going to train mm -hmm. just for just in work. When I'm going to gym, I'm going to train. I'm going to train. But you do have people you're training, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So I need meta qualifications. So as I told you, I'm doing another level two online um, uh, fitness training. I, 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 I did my first. I did my first one. So I have achieved that as well. Uh, in that uh, small time post. Mm -hmm. So, those are uh, the achievements so far in Nakafuna. What about um, things that you've lost ever since you joined um, Bolivia? <clears throat> well, I've lost some friends because of that. <laughs> some friends who does not believe that bodybuilding, you know, is a career. And then, I mean, you know, I know um, uh, aunties and, you know, uncles, they don't embrace. Uh, uh, so I've, I've, I've lost, you know, my mother was much fun and she was much fun and she was mad at me for coming here. Even when we went in a meeting in the village of recent, I'm not going to go get an hour. So uh, uh, somehow she was mad, but you you get used. Ogamanda uh, phone me quite a while after all. Enu karia, ngenge karia zendara. What about what about your wife? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my wife teachitwa la bolungi. Ah, teachitwa la bolungi. Well, I used to do bodybuilding even before going to Gambia. Ngero muta diaga la gambo gezenyo. People say yo gezenyo muga ba people which people. Ne muga ba ani ko na ko na kina la ngero kta ni bodybuilding. So don't tell me anyone. Uh, I don't need anyone who's, you know. See, now, to what you mind, the expansion was in Kulachim. And uh, it wasn't when I told her I'm going on stage. I'm going for, for the competitions. competitions. Mm. 
I won't I won't go into that, but just know it wasn't easy. Yeah, so um, in the future, do you hope to mentor more young people? Yeah. To join Absolutely. bodybuilding? Yes, please. I do that a, a lot, on, actually, even on, on, on my, my social, no, social media. <laughs> I do that a lot. I try to get out of the room I'm looking forward to meet even more people, mm. even young boys. For example, that, that boy is around 20 years. And of course, he has a lot of building. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to meet more and more. All right, and um, what advice would you give to someone mm -hmm. who would like to join bodybuilding, especially those who are doing careers that they do not feel comfortable in? Mm -hmm. What I would tell them is to follow their passion. You know, it's not hard. You may be in a career. So the advice I would give them is be very prepared mm -hmm. before crossing over. Because it's yeah. not hard. It's not hard. Uh, adapting a new, new yeah, I can call it a new environment. Mm. Because it's not hard. You know, the woman here, we have a monthly salary. We have a good job. It's your hard work, you know. So I would advise them to follow their passion, where where their passion lies. Because now go crossing and so care about the body building and so can you take it and prepare yourself. Yeah, and then they prepare and so can you take it at the end of the day that you see your way that you have. Then take a canoe with him, but one get of course in your game of the building and your job soon. I have one for my love of one. I hear you know now, blah blah, those backlashes. So all that you know, to prepare younger before you cross over to any other new career, otherwise. Uh, I would advise them to follow their passion. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Yeah. Kato Hussein. It has been nice meeting you. We hope to see you uh, more in the next competitions and we wish you success in everything yeah. that you do. Yeah, I'm looking forward to competitions. As I told you, we have Mr. Uganda in November. In November, yeah. We have Mr. Kenya and they are open for East African countries, so we have to. I have to go and participate. Mm. So, yeah, we are looking forward to it. So, we are training hard for, for all those competitions. Mm. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. After watching this episode, we hope you have been able to get the motivation to pursue your passions regardless of what society dictates. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Vice Versa Global. And until next time, bye bye.